the highlights. President Tinubu Governor Song Wolu celebrates chess master Tunde Onokoya for setting new Guinness World Record. Nigerian Navy ship Delta warns criminals to stay clear of its operational areas. On the 14th in Togo, Parliament approves constitutional reform for presidents. And in sports, 2017 Okpepe race champion Chase's first major marathon win in London. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. President Bola Tinubu has commanded chess maestro Tunde Onokoya on setting a new world chess record. Tunde thanked Onokoya, pardon that, Tinubu thanked Onokoya for sounding the gong of Nigeria's resilience, self belief, and ingenuity at the square of global acclaim. He stated that Onokoya has shown a streak customary among Nigeria's youth population, showing the audacity to make good change happen. Also, Lagos State Governor Babajide Songwulu said Onokoya's remarkable story showed that with determination, dreams can indeed soar to monumental heights. While commending today Onokoya for beating world Guinness records, he said the journey of the chess master from Lagos, Nigeria, to global recognition embodies the spirit of Lagos as a great city. Sonwolu noted that Onokoya's entire journey was showcased on digital billboards and celebrated with watch parties, despite enduring pain and fatigue, driven by his commitment to empower the children he champions. Lagos State Head of Service Bodiaguro has assured persons living with disabilities in the state public service of the support of government in making life better and conducive for them. Agora stated this when he received members of the Association of Lagos State Civil Servants with Disabilities who paid him a courtesy visit. He maintained that since inception, it has been the policy of the state government to cater for the welfare and well-being of the entire workforce, saying people with disabilities were not left out as they are special people. The head of service reaffirmed that people with disabilities will not be left out in the area of staff training, welfare, and other incentives that would be beneficial to public servants in the state. Earlier in his address, the chairman of the association, Lukman Salami, expressed his appreciation on behalf of the association to the head of service for being resilient in tackling all welfare-related issues of staff in the state. Salami stated that the association remains grateful to the state for the enactment of the Lagos State Special People's Law 2010, as well as the establishment of the Lagos State Office of Disability Affairs, La Soda. Lagos Waste Management Authority Loma has ordered truck drivers in charge of the agency's fleet to strictly obey safe driving rules or risk severe penalties, including outright dismissal. Managing Director, CEO, Muiwa Badegeshi, said this at the Loma headquarters, Ijoa Lokpa, just as he repeatedly warned against any breach of safe motoring and road traffic rules and regulations involving non-use of seatbelts, drunk driving, speeding and reckless behavior on highways. Other breaches, according to him, include overloading, loss of safety equipment, possession of invalid driver's license, waste handlers hanging onto moving trucks, and other reckless actions that could cause an accident. Madagashin stressed that each waste evacuation truck operated by Loma will now display phone numbers allowing residents to promptly report instances of reckless driving or dangerous behavior on the roads. Lagos State Government has clamped down on illegal estate developments in the Ekbe corridor of the state. Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development, Uluinka Olumide, who was acting on the directive of the State Executive Council, led a special joint exercise to the axis where airing ex 
stage developers were served notices and requested to come forward to the relevant authorities to perfect their documents. Olumide said, under no circumstances should any developer go ahead and start the development of estates without obtaining layout approval planning permit and fencing permit as may be required, noting that these requirements were to ensure the attainment of organized, livable and sustainable built environment. On his part, the Permanent Secretary, Office of Physical Planning, Oluwali Shutere, said the staff of the Office of Physical Planning are always ready to guide developers through the process, urging them to ensure that they get all required approvals before embarking on any project. Also speaking, General Manager, Legacy Physical Planning Permit Authority, LASPA, Kendi Oshinaiki, implored property owners and developers to seize the opportunity provided by the 90-day amnesty period on the planning permit for completed buildings to regularize their developments by obtaining planning permits on their existing buildings. And now to the rest of the stories. The Nigerian Navy ship Delta has warned criminals to stay clear of its areas of operation or get prepared for the consequences. This was as the Navy admonished its personnel to stay out of trouble and be mindful of how they use social media. And then as Delta Commander Abba Mushin, Musi, pardon, while leading officers and ratings, gave the warning shortly after the quarterly route march by the personnel of the command in Wari. The exercise began at about 6.15 a.m. on Saturday at the Wari Naval Base on route Okere Road through Airport Road connecting NPA Expressway and terminated at the Navy base. Speaking on the route march, Musi explained that the exercise represents the Navy's readiness, physical fitness, and a true military spirit of its personnel. The former Defense Minister Theophilus Danjuma has lamented the rising security issues in Nigeria. Danjuma, who said this at the Uoyu International Fishing and Cultural Festival in the EB local government area of Taraba State, said Nigeria has become a laughing stock globally. He urged the citizens to stop killing themselves and make the roads and homes safe for development to thrive. The former minister who chaired the occasion said the festival not only showcases the state's traditional values, but also serves as a platform for fostering unity and understanding among diverse communities. The International Oyo Fishing and Cultural Festival is an avenue to showcase the over 80 ethnic groups residents in Taraba, and it was held 14 years since 2012 during the administration of late Dan Baba Suntai. Vice President Kashim Sheitima has expressed optimism that the Naira will continue to appreciate against dollar at the forex market. His spokesperson, Stanley Kocha, in a statement, said Sheitima stated this at a meeting with officials of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, at the presidential villa, Abuja. He said President Bola Tinubu ended the fuel subsidy and ensured the unification of the multiple exchange rates because the former arrangement was producing billionaires overnight. Shaitima recalled that the quality of leadership provided by President Tinubu as governor of Lagos State laid the foundation for massive development witnessed in the state. The vice president assured that the Tinubu administration is doing its best to address challenges in the power sector. And now to foreign news. Lawmakers in Togo have approved changes to the constitution linked to the presidential term limits and how presidents are elected, which some opposition politicians and civil society groups have denounced as a constitutional coup. Togo's parliament had earlier had already adopted the amendments, but the reforms led to an opposition backlash. So President Fauri Gnan Singhbe called for further consultations and a second parliamentary vote. The lawmakers gave final approval to the reform late on Friday, just days before the April 29 legislative elections that had also been pushed back due to the issues around the constitutional amendments. The amendments also introduced a parliamentary system of government and shortened presidential terms to four years from five with a two-term limit. 
On the way from all that, now sports. The second Ethiopian man to win the men's title at the Okpepe International 10km road race, Leo Geber Selassie, will be gunning for his first major marathon win on Sunday at the London Marathon, one of the six major marathons in the world. The Ethiopian came very close two years ago when he ran for two hours, five minutes and 12 seconds to play second behind Kenya's Amos Kipruto. He will have to contest against an elite field led by his countryman Kenen Nisa Bekele, a two-time major winner who ran for two hours, 10 minutes and 41 seconds to win the Berlin Marathon in 2019. And just before we go and maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you, to avoid collision, you can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X, Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on our YouTube channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sawulu administration trained 500 unemployed youths in soft skills and a job interview program? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government's website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. President Bola Tinubu and Governor Babajide Sawulu have commended chess maestro Tunde Onokoya on setting a new world record. The Nigerian Navy ship Delta has warned criminals to stay clear of its areas of operation or get prepared for the consequences. Well, I told you that lawmakers in Togo have approved changes to the constitution linked to presidential term limits and how presidents are elected, which some opposition politicians and civil society groups have denounced as a constitutional coup. And in sports, the second Ethiopian man to win the men's title at the Opepe International 10 km road race, Leo Geber Selassie, will be gunning for his first major marathon win on Sunday at the London Marathon, one of the six major marathons in the world. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Adirayo Idowolaya. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good evening.